Hello YouTube. <clears throat> Today I'm going to discuss with you on how to wire up one of these basic uh, bimetal thermostats and I'm going to give explanation on what things are with it, how to set the heat anticipator, you know, pretty much how to set these up. They're very simple. There's not much to them compared to old programmable thermostat or digital. These are still around and still used. They're you know, cheap option, nothing fancy. Need something to control your furnace or air conditioner. This this will do the job right here. On the side here, where it says auto and on, that is your fan switch. You can leave it on auto, which means when you have a call for heat or cooling, the fan kicks on automatically with the equipment that way. If you flick the switch to on, the fan will come on and constantly circulate air, constantly run, which if you have a house with a basement, you can flick it to on, circulate air from the basement, bring it upstairs, you know, shave a few dollars a month off on your air conditioning bill. Over here, where it says cool off and heat, all that is, is your system selection switch. If you want the furnace to run, flick it to heat. Take your temperature portion up here and set it to what you want. Or if you're repairing a furnace, just kick it all the way up to 90 to ensure you have a call for heat for troubleshooting and diagnostics. If you want air conditioning, flick it over to cool and make sure you turn the temperature down. In fact, if you hear that clicking, that's the switch inside moving in there to make on a uh, make and send the power for the function to run. To open these up, you just kind of peel it apart like that. Here, roughly tells you what temperature it is in the room, and this will tell you what it's set at. All it is back there is you have a little bimetal strip. You have two dissimilar metals that expand and contract at different rates. In fact, let's see if we can make it move here. Just by blowing on it, moves that little bimetal portion. We'll expand and contract at two different rates to tell you what temperature you are in the house. Here is what the thermostat looks like under the cover. Okay. This portion right here, that's called your heat anticipator. You have to set it... For this to run appropriately for comfort in the home what it does is this is a heater that'll warm up to turn the by or to make the bimetal switch or bimetal portion there expand and open this heating circuit sooner so when the blower continues to run it washes the heat off the heat exchanger and you're not overheating the house. In fact, it's called a heat anticipator. It anticipates the heat on the air conditioner there. Here you have your thermostat wire connections. You have Y, which is for cooling. W, which is for heat. B, that's for a reversing valve on a heat pump. RH and RC. So this has to have that jumper in there. Without that jumper, you're only going to have heating or cooling depending how you wire it. If it's doing controlling both your furnace and your air conditioner, RH is for the heat, RC is for the cool, you must have it there. I explained in another video how older natural draft furnaces, the transformers were sized just to operate the gas valve. When air conditioning was, was added, you had to have a... 40 volt amp transformer to operate a fan relay and the contactor so you either had to put a new transformer or they added a second one so that's your whole purpose there this tab right here is G that's where a green wire will go for fan operation O is an orange wire that's for heat pump the reversing valve so yellow is cool W is heat B will be blue O will be orange G will be green and the red wire goes to RHRC. As long as you have that jumper wire there, it does not matter what wire terminal it gets hooked to because that jumper is going to make it happen. 
fun one here, if I can get it to where we can see it, you have this little jumper pin. You just lift it up and it slides over the pins like that. It says here HGHE. <clears throat> what that is, is that's your blower control for your furnace. If you have a modern furnace, natural draft furnace, whatever you want to call it there, and it runs off of gas, you want to put that pin on HG for heat gas. That way the blower, the controls on the furnace will turn the blower on, not the thermostat. If you have electric heat, you must take that jumper pin, move it over just like that to HE, which would be where you have electric heat. There is no board, no fan limit switch to try to turn the blower on. The thermostat itself then, once you get a call for heat, we'll do like that, give it a call for heat. This will then send power from R to G to turn the blower on and then power from R to W to run the heat on there. Let's see. The heat anticipator, if you want to set it, you have to do what's called a 10 wrap. You'll essentially take, I do it at the thermostat, take the W wire off of here, hook like a jumper wire to it, put it around the clamp on your meter. It's called a 10 wrap, so you wrap it around the amp clamp 10 times, and then put the other clamp right back onto there. Run the furnace, wait for the blower to kick on, wait for everything to get going, and you'll get an amp draw. If you get, let's say, 5 amps, you take that 5 divided by 10 to get 0.5. Now, if I can get it here adjusted, you see where it says 0.5? That's where this little indicator must go for it to operate without overheating the house. You can't just take that and turn it, because see what happens when I do that? You're turning the whole thing, or this whole center dial will turn. You hold it in place, and just like that, we have set the heat anticipator correctly. The only reason we do the 10 wrap is you can do it five times or six times, but you have to admit it's a lot easier to divide by 10 than to try, to try to divide by 6 or 5 or 8 or anything like that. If you try to wrap the wire around twice, it will not give you the appropriate magnification for the amp draw. That's why we call it, we do the 10 wrap, just to make sure you get a good, easy number to work with, to divide by, and it picks up the signal real good. Um... That's about all there is to it. There's, you know, if he had to replace one of these or wire it up, I mean, there's not a whole lot to it. There's no programming, no setup or anything with these bimetal thermostats. So hopefully this video is informative for you. Take care. Bye-bye.